Lex, as everybody calls him. Ten rounds in the welterweight division. And you know that Alexis wants to send a message tonight, Salem Arena. Definitely coming off of a loss, you know, he wants to step in there and just wipe out any memory of that loss. You know, he really wants to uh, dominate and look good tonight. Coming in with the body shots right away. Here's Rocha. Beth Duran and Salem Urbina with you. We're, keep sending the tweets, Salem Urbina. I'm Duran Sports. We see them all. We appreciate you guys watching on the Golden Boy Fight Night on Facebook. I like how Alexis is, you know, going after the body right away. He's throwing a beautiful uh, left hand to the body, and it's landing very well. Getting back into the ring after a loss... You know, it's one thing to get back into the gym, Sulem, but when you get back into the ring, what's that first round like? You know, I haven't I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do that July 9th uh, after a loss. <laughs> you know what? L you know what? Let me uh, let me uh, get out of here then. Yeah. So that your first fight back after losing. But what the okay? So you could talk to this. What's it like being in the gym as the fight approaches? Uh, it's very motivating. It's also you know. Um, I, I get I get nervous. Uh, you know, there's there's little uh, things that you've been working on, and you want to make sure that that you do them right. Um, for me, um, I'm just you know trying to stay focused and uh, come back sharper and stronger, and you know just look better all the way around July 9th. And you know I'm sure that's what it is for Alexis Rocha tonight. He really wants to dominate in this fight, and you know get another. W Winning, winning, and uh, I'm excited to see him. Yeah, Rocha's last fight in October 2020 at the Fancy Springs Bubble when he lost to Rashidi Ellis. It was a shutout, 12 rounds. And before that, uh, Rocha took care of Brad Solomon as Rocha lands the uppercut. Brad Solomon was stopped this afternoon by Blair Cobbs. Bacon, his last fight, he went the distance with Ramon de la Cruz Senna in Miami. He slipped the car to 190. That was in January. So he's been doing a lot of work yeah, in fighters, Miami the last year and a half. They're fighters that have run, rounds under their belts, you know, and they're really going off in this first round. Forget the feeling out. That's something, you know, the fighters just want to get hit. Let's just keep going, right? Exactly. You have a left-hander versus a right-hander, you know, and uh, I, I like how Alexis is, you know, staying behind that jab, setting up those uppercuts also. You see Hector, the longtime trainer of Alexis Rocha, younger brother of Ronnie Rios, Golden Boy fighter. Ronnie's going to be able to scrap pretty soon. Alexis' story has been told many times. And uh, Weak Sauce Radio, Marquise John says, what's happening? He's watching us right now. And yes, Marquise, I did mess up. I, I need to get back in the gym myself. Uh, he liked what it's, I'm over here asking you, Salem, what's going on? And you haven't fought yet. <laughs> I haven't fought yet. But, you know, uh, I'm, I'm watching Alexis. I'm, I'm liking the hunger I see in him. You know, he's mixing up well to the body, to the head. He's picking his punches well. He's looking sharp in there. And, you know, yep. no study round between these two. So it's exciting to see. Yeah, that fight with uh, Rashidi Ellis, it just seemed like he never got out of third gear. And Rashidi Ellis is a fun fighter to watch. And speedy Rashidi gets after him. And Rashidi was in the fifth gear. Lex just never caught up with them. And now the punches are coming from Alexis Rocha. One, two, the hooks. Lex, known for his power, 16 and one. 10 of those by a KO, but he's dropped some bodies. Yeah, he's one of those boxers that mixes it up. You know, he doesn't just throw one punch or favor one hand. Um, I feel like, you know, he sets up everything really nice off of that jab. Big Ooh. right hook from Alexis. Drop bacon. It was set up by the body work that you were talking about, Sulem, but he came with that right from the southpaw stance. Check them. Bacon hits the deck in the second. He's doing it right. Lex He's setting all, all those punches. 
faking on the ropes. Still hurt, he hasn't recovered. Takes a deep breath in the corner. Rocha, another quick right, but he's an uppercut. He's covering up. Bacon trying to fight back. Hook from, ba from Rocha. Bacon bouncing off the ropes. He's got to cover up. Rocha goes to the body. And taking a lot out of Bacon is Alexis Rocha. Sitting down on his punches, snapping back the head of the Filipino. Snaps it back again. Rocha looking good on the button. Left, right, drops off. And it's over. Alexis Rocha with a huge KO in the second. Now that's a comeback right there. Look at him dancing around the ring. He looks so happy and he did a great job tonight. Woo. That's how you get back into the map, huh? Exactly. He did the right thing. I like that. After he heard him, you know, he didn't just go wild and crazy. He picked his punches very well and and took him out of there. Wow. And Bacon is a solid guy. It was definitely a good couple rounds. I, I enjoyed it very much. Bacon was in there, you know, and just Alexa's power was a little too much. And like I said, I love the way he mixed it up to the body, to the head, and picked his punches the right way. So Alexis Rocha gets his 17th victory, his 11th stoppage, goes back to Santana. And there he is, Hector, who had the young man as an amateur, now as a pro. We've told the story before of Alexis Rocha. It was over 200 pounds when he was 14 years old. Started boxing to lose weight. Next thing you know, he's a highly talented amateur. In high school, he was boxing for Team USA in Russia. And he got the job done. I actually know Alexis because he was uh, friends with my brother that passed away, Alexis. They were both on Team USA uh, at camp together. So um, I have a soft spot for the kid and I'm very proud of him tonight. And after this fight, I'm gonna ask him how he felt, you know, coming back after a loss in that first round. Yeah. I see the comments in Tagalog, the Pusta Walana. That smile says it all, doesn't it, Salim? 